before we really talk about how to subnet, and subnetting here we're going to define as taking a large network address and breaking it up into smaller network addresses. But in order to talk about that, we need a framework. We need to describe to you how I'm going to describe the IP address and other information here. So whenever we're working with the IP addresses, I'll always tell you the IP address and the mask. We'll always convert it to binary. And when we're converting it into binary, what I've done to help illustrate this and really make the network portion and host portion pop out at us, because really that's what we're manipulating here is these network portion and host portions of this address. Before I go on with this, I should take a step back and say it's really important that you watch Introduction to IP Addressing first because you're going to learn what the network portion is and what the host portion is and how we determine which is where. Now ultimately, we're going to determine the network portion and host portion of an IP address using the subnet mask, which is written on the bottom here. So I'm always going to show the network portion of the IP address in binary in blue, and the host portion is always going to be shown in orange. Now, the subnet mask we can write in several different ways. We traditionally see the subnet mask written as 255.255.255.0, or something similar to that. If we write that out in binary, we see that it's eight ones for the first octet, eight ones for the second octet, and eight ones for the third octet, and the last octet is all zeros. Well, we've come up with a shorthand notation for indicating the subnet mask, and it's called CIDR notation or classless interdomain routing notation. And here all we do is we count up the number of bits in the network portion and write that number down and that becomes our mask. So if we count the number of bits in our network portion here, there are 24. So 24 bits in our network portion of this particular address. So slash 24 and 255.255.255.0 are interchangeable. All we're doing is counting the number of bits. So from now on, I'm not actually going to write out the entire subnet mask. I'm only going to write it in the CIDR notation. It'll make converting it to binary actually a lot easier because all you have to do is write 24 ones down and then fill up the rest of the address with zeros. And every address has 32 bits in it. So 24 bits of network portion, 8 bits of host portion. So if we were to look at the address 203.0.113.10 slash 24 and I were to write that in binary, you'll see that my subnet mask has 24 bits in it. Again, 8 bits in the host portion. And my IP address that I have converted to binary here will reflect that same network and host portion. So my mask here is being used to identify the network portion and host portion of my IP address. And I will always write the network portion in blue, host portion in orange.